right, so this is what happened. This is what happened. So there was this time I was in um, Japan performing with an artist. I had a, uh, another dancer with me. There was actually just two of us on this, on this trip. And we were performing at one of the main venues there in, uh, in uh, Tokyo. And we're going to get ready to get dressed. And I had convinced <laughs> the manager that I had a look in mind, you know, as the choreographer for what we we're going to wear. And I said, I want to do a zoot suit thing. And so <laughs> the guy that I was with, his name's Derrickson, great guy that I was traveling with, the other dancer, younger than me. And at that time, he was, he was new to traveling. He was new to the whole going overseas and stuff. And he was a little tentative about things and uh, didn't venture out of the hotel very much and all that kind of thing. So we're there in the hotel. Now, I convinced them to get the Zoot Suits. I got in the budget. I went to this guy who's another dancer. I'm not going to say his name. He's actually a, he's a super guy. He actually has done other stuff before. He's a, you know, sort of a, a, a legendary dancer. But he said, Bradley, I'll make you some Zoot Suits because he had a great one. I said, cool. We got suited up. We got sized up. We got the Zoot Suits ready to go. So we go to get the Zoot Suits. They come, they come in, in, in the bag. I take the Zoot Suits out of the bag. We go, <laughs> we go to put the Zoot Suits on. Now, I don't know what. I don't know what happened, but the, it was just, they were all just jacked up. I mean, the seams were wrong. <laughs> the suspenders didn't fit right. The, the, the whole design was sort of twisted around our waist. It was just, it was, you could sort of make it work, but to make it look right, it was so uncomfortable because you had like, inside it was pulling on your crotch and it was just wrong. So I'm putting these on. So we put them on, put on a white shirt, suit suit suspenders. And I remember I said to, uh, I said to Derek, I said, um, so I didn't say anything actually. I didn't say anything to him actually. I didn't say anything. I'm putting them on, I'm laughing because I'm just like, that's just me. I'm just like, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? We're in, we're in Japan, we're here. I don't know why we didn't take them out of the bag sooner, but we just got here and put them on. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, they're you know one size longer than the other. But we can make it work, but it was really just pretty bad, right? And I remember Derek just looks and he stands up and he just goes, standing there, looking straight ahead. He was making no comments, wasn't saying anything, just stood up, put it on, and said, This is a sad day. <laughs> why that cracks me up so much. <laughs> this is a sad day. I mean, oh man, I still remember today. Oh, Derek, do you remember that? Oh my gosh, that was fun. Whew. <laughs> we made it work though. We made it work. We, you know, we, like you could, you know, we sort of put the sock, got some cool socks, just pulled it up. It was uncomfortable, you know, made it look cool. But man, you know what, you know what it is, you know what, though, it's just a, you know, hey, and Derek's is a great guy. He's a happy, cheerful guy. But in that moment, man, you got a choice of how to, how to choose to move forward and which way you choose to see things that are happening. He was, he was not happy. Oh my gosh. You know, got to choose some things. You got to choose some, some optimistic, optimistic approaches because that's what you got to do in those circumstances. There's nothing you can do. It was a funny day. It was a messed up day, but it was funny to me. And I just I was laughing the whole performance, just knowing that across beside me, Derek's you know he was not comfortable in the in the lower regions. He was not comfortable, and the whole way through, knowing there were pins holding up one side of the leg, the whole time just going, oh my gosh. But it was a great day. It's a great day now because of that sad day. It's a day I remember forever. It's a day I remember forever. So thank you for that sad day, which was a great day, depending on how you choose to see it. I'm saying you gotta be cool in how you choose to see things. And I don't have to wrap this up. There's no moral of the story stuff to say. It's story time with Bradley. And I just had to share that story. I don't know why. It was just in me. All right, I'm done. Story time's over. It's a great day. Keep grooving.